Hi everyone, this time we'll crochet a vest with a hood. And this tutorial is for every size. So you can crochet this vest for a baby or for a child or for an adult. So this is universal. And please find the, all the links in the description box and let's get started. For this tutorial I'm using Schaffenmeyer Select Belizea yarn. This is color number 2352 and I am using a 7 size crochet hook. This is 4.5 millimeters. We will need also a tapestry needle to sew the ends. Before we start crocheting the vest you should take a similar clothes so similar vest which has the same size and you maybe take a big newspaper an old one where you can draw and you should draw the front side and also the back side and the size for the hood so that we can crochet with the size size which we will need so this this drawing is really small so it's only to show you what you should draw on your newspaper yeah and then we can start we start on the front side so we'll start with the lengths and crochet in rows this way. So first we start with a simple slip knot. And then we chain stitches. And we have to chain so many stitches until we reach our length for the west. So this length, maybe you will need your chain to be a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. So you have to know and which way your work will be after some rows. So it's always different. You maybe have to do a swatch or you know how your yarn works. So we'll meet again. I chained enough stitches. If your chain is long enough, we will start crocheting the first row and we crochet single crochets until the end of the row. And I'm going through the back loop only. This is the first row. And to start the second one, we have to chain one, turn our work, and continue crocheting single crochets, but only through the front loop. So I'm using only one of these loops. And your work will be thinner and more flexible. Yeah, and we'll continue in this way. So we will crochet in rows, only single crochets. And we will do this for this section where you have the shoulder. And when we will start doing the collar, I will show you how to do this so that we get this curve. So this is my first stride for the beginning and I will compare this with our drawing. So now we have here the curve and as you can already see I did not crochet the last stitch. And I won't crochet it. I will now crochet backwards. So I will leave this last stitch like this and then I will turn my work and I won't chain, chain one. So we skip the chain one and then we continue through the second so through the second stitch. And we have here also a decrease. And 
then you should always compare this with your drawing. So as you can see, this is okay. So we'll crochet afterwards over this. So this is okay. Now we crochet across the row until the end and then we come backwards and we will stop here, somewhere here. So we'll leave maybe two stitches. We'll skip them. Then I will show you this when I'm done. Okay, so back again. And as you can see here, I have two stitches left and I do not crochet them. And I also don't chain one. Crochet. Let's do the second stitch again. Now we'll have a look if this is so okay. So this is this is how it should look like. And we'll crochet this way until the curve get another direction and then I will show you how to increase stitches, so how to get more stitches again. So my waist is done so far and as you can see we get here a curve and we need more stitches. So usually at the end of the row you chain one. This is your turning chain and we will chain one more to get one more stitch. And I crochet back through the back loop, the first stitch and then the other stitches through the front loop, as you already know. Then we'll have a look if this was enough. Okay, so this looks good. So maybe if you're here, you will need to choose two more stitches. So you will always have to try and to look if this is enough or not. And if you're at the top again, then you continue crocheting only with a turning chain. And the back part is the same way. So you will crochet this. Also, as we did the front side, but this color here is not so low, so you see this. Yeah, and if you have the front side and the back side, then we'll continue. So my front side and back side is done, and now we'll sew them together. And you will put them to the inside is facing us, and we'll sew them here and here, so on the shoulders, and then from the bottom up to the arm opening. So you can decide which size you want to sew this, so you can leave it open this way or you can make a big opening. And you can use your tapestry needle or your crochet hook to sew this with slip stitches.
So if you're done sewing your work, we'll continue with the bottom part. And I attached already the yarn on the side. Now I will pull up a loop and I will start with the wrong double crochet. And then I will continue crocheting only double crochets. And we will work now in joining rounds. And we will decrease after nine double crochets. Always decrease after nine double crochets. So we have here one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine, and now the decrease. And then you will start again one, two, and so on, and always after nine double crochets a decrease, and we will meet again at the end of the round. So this is my first row, and I will join the round with a slip stitch, and then you start again with a wrong double crochet, and we continue crocheting a front post double crochet then a double crochet and then again a front post double crochet and you alternate between a front post and a usual double crochet and don't forget to decrease after each ninth stitch so after nine stitches we decrease once and you decrease until you have the size you need. So maybe one round will be enough or maybe you need five rounds. And we continue crocheting in rounds this way until we have the full length for the waist. If you're done with the bottom part, we'll continue crocheting the hood and I already attached my yarn. so. The place where to attach the yarn is the half of your collar in one stitch next. So the neighbor stitch from the center. And I pull up a loop and then I start crocheting stitches. And we need so many stitches until the chain is long enough for the whole hood. So you have your chain over the whole head and it will come back here. And then we'll meet again if you're done. So if you're done crocheting the chain, make sure it is not twisted. And we join the chain one stitch, one neighbor stitch from the center. So we started here and we will go to the other side. And we insert the hook through the stitch and we slip stitch. Then a slip stitch through the neighborhood, through the neighbor stitch. And then we turn the work. And we see the back side of the chain. So this is the front side, because we see the back side, and then we crochet single crochets and we will do this across the whole chain until we meet again here. So you continue crocheting the single crochets across the row.
If you're done with the first row, we will join this with a slip stitch and then a slip stitch through the neighbor stitch and then we can turn the work and now we'll start with the pattern for our hood so we crochet single crochets and you should count the number of stitches for the single crochets I will have five this is a baby size and you will have maybe more stitches if this is for a child or for an adult so this is the height of the neck so we change so many stitches that this is the height the length for the neck and then we'll continue with a half double crochet and then only double crochets and so on so across the row and then we'll stop if we have six stitches left so one two three four five and six and into the sixth stitch we'll crochet a half double crochet and into the last five stitches single crochets and this is what we will do in each round until we are done with the hood and always if you're at the end of the row you will slip stitch and then slip stitch into the neighbor stitch and then you will go backwards so you will you will create your hood by crocheting in rows so you crochet in rows and your hood will be bigger and bigger and in this way we will close this collar so we'll always go from here to this place then the next and back and then here and back and here and back and here and so on and we will meet again on the other side so not the opposite side my hood is done so far so as you can see the rows from the beginning to the end and we have to close the hood now and this side is the inner side of, of our west so the inner side should face you if you want to close this side and now we will join this you can use a tapestry needle for sewing or you can use a crochet hook
Yeah, and if you're done, we can take a big yarn. So this one is SMC Bravo Big. And we can pull it through the hood. But you can you can use them as a normal hood, as you know. Or you can leave it like this, because it's looking cool. Yeah, and after this you're done, so I hope this tutorial was helpful, until next time, bye bye!